SEPS Graphics is excited to introduce a new profit center to its valued customers, Sublimation Imaging. This CD-ROM comes to you with our compliments and was created to introduce you to the exciting world of sublimation. Whether you are learning of sublimation for the first time, just getting started, or in need of support for your already established business, we are here to serve you. Sublimation is a great addition to any graphics imaging business for a variety of reasons. First, because the low startup costs make it affordable for even the smallest operation. Outsourcing has its place, but you know the benefits of in-house production, profit, and control. Second, the ready availability of a wide range of sublimatable products means that it will fit well in almost any graphics imaging business. Use it to make signs mugs, name badges, plaques and awards, even personalized gifts. The opportunities with sublimation are as limitless as your imagination. Most important of all, it's easy. Watch as Steve Spence, the recognized leader in the sublimation industry, shows you how. Welcome to my shop. Come on in and have a look around. You know, one of the things about sublimation is there are so many different products that you can do with it. You can do license plates, picture frames, even teddy bears, all kinds of different products using exactly the same equipment over and over and over. Here's one for you. What about doing a carpet mural? These are carpet squares cut 12 inches by 12 inches, sublimated, and then they can be glued or taped together to make an immense carpet mural. Imagine something like that in your child's room with all kinds of little roads and games built right into the floor. Or what about a welcome mat for your shop? Possibilities are endless. Here's how sublimation works. The first thing we do is print onto a sheet of paper. Now we're using special ink for this. If you're using a laser printer, you're using special toner. If you're using a Seiko 4104, for instance, you're using a special ribbon and a special paper. If you're using inkjet, you're using special inks. And so we print it onto a piece of paper in reverse. And it really looks pretty much like any other printout, maybe a little more washed out, but it looks basically the same. Then we take that transfer and we place it on top of a substrate, put it into a heat press and heat it up. As it heats up, the solid that is printed on the transfer changes to a gas. The gas permeates the surface of the substrate where it turns back into a solid. In fact, that's the definition of sublimation. It is a process by which something changes from a solid to a gas and back to a solid without becoming a liquid. Sometimes people will call and they'll want to talk about problems they're having and they'll describe their problems by saying, my ink runs. Well, their ink can't run because sublimation isn't done with ink. It isn't done with liquid. It's done with gas. And it doesn't matter whether it's inkjet or whether it's toner based like in a laser printer or whether it's the ribbon type like in the Seiko 4104. All of them work the same way that material changes from a solid to a gas and back to a solid. Never does it become a liquid. Well, the point of all this is that once this is transferred to the material and it comes out looking like this, it is incredibly durable. You can take a key, for instance, and scratch the surface of that and it won't hurt it. Why? Because the image is underneath the surface. Now this particular piece was made as a sign and as you can see the colors are bright and vivid and the surface is a matte finish and that's one of the nice things that we can do in our industry. Many of the products are available in multiple finishes, matte and gloss. And so we can get the kind of look that we want and can even mix them so we can do ADA signage, so that we can do name badges and of course so that we can do plaques all kinds of awards. This is using just regular white sublimation metal. We'll take a piece, we'll lay it over top of the substrate, or over top of the transfer rather, 
And this is a transfer that we printed. If you didn't see tape one, then uh, you didn't see this come out of the printer, but it did. We just printed this with regular inkjet paper, and we used, of course, sublimation inks, and we printed it and then cut it in half so that we maximize our paper. We'll lay it down. We're going to put a sheet of regular paper underneath it, and you'll see why in a moment. And then we're going to take the metal. We're going to lay it over top. We're going to lay it over top and center it, and then we're going to attach it with two pieces of heat tape. Now that we've taped this on, we're going to cover it again with another sheet of paper. Now the reason we're doing that is because some of this ink that's going around the metal to, to create the full bleed is going to go somewhere. And when we heat that up, it's going to turn to a gas and it's going to go to the bottom of our heating platen. And then when we put another product in there later on, it's going to transfer that back to the next product. So we need to do something to trap it, and that's what that extra piece of paper is for. Now that we've put that on, we're going to bring the heat platen around and close it down with just medium pressure. Medium pressure is really just what you can do with one hand. Some people try and use way too much pressure with their heat presses. It takes both hands and all their strength to close them down, and with inkjet sublimation, that just isn't necessary. Medium pressure, that is something you can close with one hand so that you feel it latched down, is quite adequate for most products. The only exception will be ceramic tile, and we'll talk about that later. Okay, our timer has gone off. We've had this in the press at 400 degrees for one minute. And ironically, with inkjet, most products we make can actually be done at one minute. Now we're going to be careful because obviously it's hot. We're going to take this top piece of paper and throw it away so we can't get that ink on something else accidentally. And by the way, I'll just mention that if you pick up that piece of metal, you're going to burn your hands and you're going to burn them seriously. But interestingly enough, the paper cools down pretty quickly. So you can take the paper, pick it up by that, and then just lay it over a side to, to cool. And we're using something called a cool plate here. This is a little machine that has a heat sink in it and pulls the heat out of it much quicker than it would do normally. You don't have to have one, but it's kind of like power windows in a car. Once you have one, you kind of fall in love with it because it cools the product down so much quicker. And then you can handle it just like normal. We're going to peel this off to reveal our finished product. And what I wanted to show you above everything else was the difference between the cheaper metals and the more expensive metals. Everybody likes a bargain and you think, well, sublimation metal is sublimation metal. But the truth of the matter is that's not the case. On this metal, it's very easy to see that the colors are not as vivid and bright. And you can also see one area here <coughs> where the coating on the metal actually broke down. But that's how metal is made. Now, one of the things that I want us to talk about for just a moment is ganging metal. This is very important because if you're doing little tiny jobs like uh, name badges or uh, paperweights, then you can do 6, 8, 10, 12, maybe 20 pieces at a time, whatever fits on a piece of paper. And these can all be done at once. You don't have to do metal one piece at a time. And that's why it's important you buy the biggest heat press you can afford is because you can gang jobs together and you can do more at one time. It's going to take one minute to make this metal, whether you do one piece or whether you do, in this case, eight pieces. And all we're going to do is take our piece of metal, position it just exactly like we did before, put a couple of pieces of heat tape on it. We're going to cover it up with a sheet of plain white copy paper. Oops. And we're going to close the press for one minute. Now, when that is done, we'll open it up. I'll show you a piece, and you'll see that it works just the same as if we were doing them one at a time. OK, we'll open the press again, 400 degrees, one minute. Take the top sheet away, throw it away so that no uh, gas that's gotten on that page can affect us later. And we'll peel one of these off real quick. 
just to show that, sure enough, whether you're doing one or eight, they all do the same. So gaining jobs makes it a lot easier to do production work, and that's really what this is all about. Not being able to make one product, but being able to make 10 or 20 or 30 or however many will fit on your press at one time. And you can do this not just with metal, but with a variety of different products. And we're going to talk about those as we go along. It's just that simple. Now that you've seen a brief sample of what is possible, call SETS today and get the details of how to enter the colorful world of sublimation. Established in Birmingham, Alabama in 1988, SETS Graphics is a full-service stocking graphic arts dealer. Home based in our 5,000 square foot office warehouse in North Shelby County, SETS supports the press, pre-press, and post-press phases of the printing process by offering its customers a world-class product line of equipment and supplies. Obviously, this is just the tip of the iceberg. We're sure you have many other questions. So we invite you to contact Cheryl Ray. All be sure to ask how you can receive a copy of the complete video training series featuring Steve Spence, which will start you on the road to success and sublimation. Thank you for taking the time to watch this presentation. We look forward to the opportunity to serve you.